Hi, uh, going to the League of Municipalities is an amazing opportunity to meet all the names you see on lists every day of public officials but don't have an opportunity and, and our agency uh, directors and leaders that can help to open up your mind and make you understand some of the advantages and opportunities that are out there to help mayors and other public officials learn about the ways in which government runs, how they can be helpful to you, how other public officials uh, that have long-term experience might be able to mentor you. Uh, the more you know, the more you have to learn and you have to be open. And I have, as a public official over the last eight years, have gone to the league every year. And every year I go to the amazing conferences where uh, the best speakers are there who have given me information that I have continuously brought back to our borough and have utilized successfully to make improvements along with my colleagues to the needs of our borough. Um, being a part of the Urban Mayors uh, Conference to this year was particularly beneficial because it brings to light the very unique differences at times in the you know urban uh, mayors communities where I have opportunities to bring the advice and the uh, uh, the various programs that might benefit our community at large um, so that's another advantage um, you learn not only at the conference but today I was driving on the bus and the networking you think only goes on, I know people think at parties where there's a lot of handshaking and thousands of people, but that's not really where it is. It's in the hallways, it's on the bus, like for example, today I had an opportunity to meet the director of Public Works, which you know, landed me two very amazing ideas that may help our community. Had an opportunity, I was so excited to speak to our superintendent, who also loved the ideas, and this gentleman, at no cost, is willing to sit down and consult with us to tell and explain to our superintendent and our business, business administrator of how these things implemented could save money and help our borough quality of life overall. So it may seem little, but in the long run, you know, the things that you pick up here is a constant giving back. It teaches you how to pursue those things and separate them that will be sustainable and unique to your environment and your community to improve it overall and to have it to grow. So do I think the League of Municipalities is beneficial? Without a doubt. And I appreciate them. Hi. I'm at the League of Municipalities, New Jersey League of Municipalities down here in Atlantic City, celebrating its 100th year of helping municipalities. I have the honor of representing Roselle Park as my first year as mayor. And since I've been down here, the convention, the classrooms, the knowledge that uh, is available to the, uh, us as mayors is just overwhelming. Uh, the knowledge that we can have to bring back, that we can benefit you, the taxpayers, to bring everybody into the 21st century. Uh, the big topics this year were uh, social media, um, texting, the um, town-wide calendars. It seems that eventually, folks, you're going to be able to see the council meetings on your apps because that is the way of the future. And that was being brought out down here at the League of Municipalities Convention, uh, along with so many other things, foreclosures, uh, the heroin epidemic that is going throughout our country and, and throughout our state and in, in our boroughs. The, uh, the vendors, the walk the hall, to see the vendors and the equipment that is out there that can make things so much easier. <laughs> Too bad we couldn't afford them, but it's so much knowledge that it you can't absorb it all in one day. You need at least three days or four days to come down here uh, the contacts that you meet, uh, it can only help as far as information-wise, budget-wise. So uh, I felt that I was very honored to be down here for the 100th anniversary of the League of Municipalities, and I'm looking forward to bringing back that information to the citizens of Roselle Park.